How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've been so busy lately. I'm trying to um, start two more businesses. Um, one's a clothing company, so that'll be kind of fun. I've never done that before. And so we'll see how that goes. Um, I got. I went to Liberty Coin Service yesterday. I was out and about running some errands unexpectedly. I didn't want to, but I had to leave the office for a while. And I stopped by there and got some sub sub thirty dollars silver, twenty nine dollars and fifty cents per ounce, which I still think is a good deal. I mean, it it just seems like a good deal. Just to me, I guess. If I'm getting silver for under 30 bucks, I'm happy. Oh, one thing I did notice on eBay, I was looking at eBay yesterday, and there, there's stuff selling on there for under spot, which I don't understand, but I guess people haven't... They might not be doing it today, but yesterday, you know, we had the second day of $1 uh, gains. Um, let me see what silver's doing today. I look on CNBC. It's just easiest... So silver on, on CNBC, the future contract price is up 18 cents, but I don't know what it is on the COMEX. <clears throat> but yesterday I was looking at actual sold items, and things were selling for like, for, I don't know, for like right at spot, like within a couple pennies, some a little bit under, a little bit over, but like stuff that normally would be like, you know, eBay usually doesn't have that great of deals, but anyway, it was yesterday. I'll probably check today and then uh, I've got some a couple orders coming so it'll be kind of nice. I, I'm glad that I bought I did a couple orders over the weekend because it's gone up since then. So anyway the first item I got was this weird colorized it's got a uh, like a, an epoxy on it. And this isn't a Silver Eagle, this is a Dawn of a New Millennium. I'm not sure who made these, but it's from 2000. And I figured, I don't know, I've been, for some reason, I've been drawn to colorized coins. Like, I got this one a couple weeks ago, and this has got this this uh, epoxy on it. This also has epoxy. I pulled it out of the uh, capsule and showed it see what's going on here on this thing. Let me get my on-screen display to work on this handy cam. So anyway, this is the first item. I'm going off on tangents already. The next item is a Sunshine Mining Round from 1990. I didn't know they were Sunshine Mining in 1990. So I thought that was a good deal. I'm, I'm gonna, I bought, ordered some E-Zest also to clean up uh, there's a difference between toning and whatever this stuff is. So I'm going to dip these in E-Zest. Third item I got was another Southeast Refining round. One ounce round. The one silver ounce eagle on the front. And this one flips U.S. coinage style. So that's that, and now we get into the more fun things, the bars. So I got a 1985 Christmas bar from Madison Mint. Get it out of this PVC thingamajig. This has got old Saint Nick with a big old sack of goodies for kids that were good. Were you good? You better have, or he's not going to bring you any cool stuff. This can get... Look at that. <laughs> this isn't on my thumb. This is just like this weird stuff. I'm going to ease this, these, I guess, maybe. I don't know. It looks it looks terrible, that this weird toning stuff that seems to be on a lot of these bars I've been getting lately. Is, this some, is that something normal that you guys see? Is that weird, this toning that can just wipe off? I'm used to toning being, um, like on there. It doesn't it's 
doesn't be isn't affected by touching it. The next one I got is a graduation 1986. I was hoping for a 1987 graduation because that's when I graduated high school. Yes, I am old. Very old. And this one's got two lightning strikes down here. I let I don't mind the lightning strike ones. I coined that phrase, lightning strike. And this is also from the Madison Mint. A girl I in high school graduated in 1986 that I had a crush on. That doesn't have anything to do with gold or silver, but I just thought I'd interject that. Get in your prison! Urgh. There we go. Another one locked up to satisfy Trident. So those are two cool vintage bars. And then the last two are the same, which I was really excited about. These are APM bars. American Pacific Mint. You see how they... I got two of these. Which I was stoked about. I went to this one's. These ones don't even have the flap peeled off. Check that out. I've never seen it before like this. The little f flap that f that goes inside. It's got. You can peel this off. Anyway, so this is basically like an unused um, PVC holder. So he, I went. He. I was digging through the vintage stuff that he had. It didn't have a ton. And, I, and he knows I'm looking for other vintage stuff. People need to stop messaging me. I'm turning my phone off. Because it's annoying. These are vendors that are messaging me. Like non-stop. They don't understand that early morning is when I'm messaging. Not now. When I'm making my cool YouTube videos for my friends. One Troy ounce. Three nines fine silver. But I, I was looking through these, told the guy I was like, I'm always looking for vintage stuff, and he knows. Um, he's like, hang on a second, there might be something in the back. And he pulled out two of these AP, uh, um, American Pacific Mint bars, APM bars. These barely fit in the holders, in the capsules, as the British would say, or some. What is it, the British people? Like, some of you say capsules, and some of them say capsules, like normal. I don't get it. Here's the other one. But as soon as I saw these, these were are really pretty. Look, there's so much detail on these. So I was stoked to get these. I'm, I'm thinking eventually I'm going to have a guardhouse box full of just Christmas stuff. And hopefully, eventually, one with uh, like regular vintage stuff. And then one with Halloween stuff. It seems like Halloween stuff's always hard to get. I never find any good deals on Halloween bars. I think the last one I got, Tuli Tuli sent me. But I was really stoked to get these. These APM bars are not easily found. So I got some more vintage for the guardhouse box. Let me get out my little prison. I'm going to need to check and see how, how much I'm up to. I'm going to put these over here. Somebody's honking their horn outside. And I've got another one of these graduation ones, I think, somewhere. But I don't think I had one of these. I'm kind of excited for Christmas time. I like uh, I like the fall and the winter. Now that spring's coming, it's kind of like, eh. I think spring and summer, well, fall is my absolute favorite. Number one, can't be beat. And I guess summer is probably second. So how many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 bars. I've got 20 to go to fill up this box, and then it'll be time to start on another one. Because I don't see this stopping anytime soon. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, I'm going to get back to work and maybe turn my phone back on. Anyway, have a great day. Later.